Hi guys. Um, it's not quite as warm today as it was last time, so I'm in my office at the church. If you've never seen my office before, I'll give you the grand tour. It's tiny and it's awesome and I love it. I love this picture of Abraham looking up at the stars. Uh, this is my guitar. This is my very strange tomato plant, which I brought in from the cold in September. That red tomato has been exactly like that since November. I have no idea, but uh, if it starts saying, feed me Seymour, it's out of here. This is my choir robe, which we are hoping to use again someday. And uh, yeah, so this is my, my little space. <clears throat> I've never had an office before. It's kind of fun. Good place to uh, to read and to put some things together for Sundays. And uh, yeah, good place to practice some ecclesiastical distancing. So last time we talked a little bit about the idea of being in exile and the fact that each of us is in our own way in exile. Um, not unlike the people of Israel in Babylon, but uh, unlike them in that their enemy was um, visible. It was angry, violent men with swords, and our enemy is hiding inside each other, which is making us all, you know, kind of tense and, and a bit nervous. And um, we heard a couple of stories just yesterday of um, retail clerks, retail staff losing their temper with customers over fairly small misunderstandings. So we need to recognize that, that people are tense, people are nervous, people are anxious and scared and you know we, we really need to show each other that extra bit of kindness and gentleness and tenderness and uh, you know be excellent to each other. Right? Okay. So when the people of Israel were in exile, um, they were distant from everything that, that meant anything to them. Uh, their, their heritage, their history, their geography, their, their city that they had built, their beautiful, beautiful city. And one of the Psalms that was written about that time goes like this. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion, when we remembered home. There we hung up our harps on the poplar trees because our captors there asked us for songs and our tormentors for rejoicing. Sing us one of the songs of Zion, entertain us, amuse us. But how can we sing the Lord's song on foreign soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. The people of Israel were far from home, but God was not far from the people of Israel. He is never far from us, no matter where we are, no matter what direction we're going. He is not far from us. God will meet us wherever we are, whatever we're doing. God met the Apostle Paul in his hostility. God met Zacchaeus in his curiosity. God met Adam and Eve in their failure. Joseph was met by God in his broken heart. So where are you? Jacob was met by God while he was hiding from his family. John the Baptist was met by God before he was even born. Elijah was met by God when he was alone and in danger. Jonah was met by God when he was running in the wrong direction. So where are you? Moses was met by God on a mountaintop. Joshua was met by God while he was on the outside looking in. David was met by God while everybody else ignored him. Peter was met by God when he was just doing his everyday job. So where are you? Abraham was met by God when he was content and secure. Sarah was met by God in her cynical laughter. Hagar was met by God 
when she was dying of thirst. Mary Magdalene was met by God at the grave of a friend. So where are you? Are you on foreign soil? Are you feeling far from home? Are you not where you want to be? Or wherever you are, wherever you're headed, you are not abandoned and you are not alone because God is God. God is the God of the whole earth. He is the God of your country, your town, your neighborhood, your apartment building, your home, your heart. And yes, we may find ourselves sitting down and weeping. We may find ourselves tempted to hang up our harps and never sing again. But we are not going to do that. We are not going to never sing again. We are going to sing the song of the Lord in this foreign land. We're going to sing songs that remind us of who he is, where he is, and who we are. Sing with me if you know this song. The words will be in the description below if you don't have them memorized. 